Hello friends. Last time we created a data source together. Today let's create a data output. You can click on the new output button here or you can click on the outputs button on the left. We have many different data outputs to choose from. Today we are going to create a Amazon Athena output. We are going to give the output a name. This data output is associated with the data source we created last time called Makeover Data. Click on next. Now this is a really cool part where we can start mapping our fields from the source to the outputs just by clicking the add button. You can choose whichever columns that you want to map to your outputs. Let's choose a few. Click on preview to make sure that everything looks correct. Keep in mind that you can switch between the UI and the SQL. Any changes in the UI will be reflected in the SQL and vice versa. You can also modify the column type that you want to bring the data in as. There are many cool transformations that you can do at this stage, such as calculations, aggregations, filters, lookup tables, etc. But since we're creating an output today, let's talk about those in detail next time. Click on Run. Put in the database name that you want the table to be created under. Also specify the table name in Athena. Click on Next. From here, you can specify the time range that you want the data to load to the Athena table. Click on Deploy. The red indicator means stats are being collected and the fields are not yet consumed. Wait for a little bit for Athena to populate the data. Now let's look at the columns that we outputted and run a query. The query shows the number of seniors by continents in this data set. Thank you for watching. See you next time.